Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding legendary heroes which uh, are important for us to upgrade every single skill to 5 level and there are some heroes which are good to upgrade only one skill to 5 level and other skills can be kept on a single level. In this video we will find out which heroes need more attention regarding skill levels and which heroes are even good uh, with the 5111 skill level uh, in its skill set. Uh, so basically 5555 five, five, five means that hero is awakened and every skill is uh, on the max level and 5111 one, one means that only first skill is uh, on the 5 level. Uh, I need to remember you guys that first skill is always important especially for legendary heroes simply because the first skill is the synergy skill of the every hero, the damage factor skill of the every hero and the most important skill of the every single hero. So let's begin. Uh, first of all, I think I need to write down some heroes which are amazing to awaken. And uh, of course, uh, there will be some heroes which will be amazing to awaken. And for example, 5551 five, or even the other section. Okay, so like there might be a couple of heroes in couple of sections and it's totally normal. In my opinion, one of the best uh, legendary heroes to have awakened is uh, simply Nico, uh, simply because of the awakened skill, like uh, we can speak deep, dig inside what kind of skills every single hero is making, and that's not even a problem. Uh, for example, we're gonna go inside the Nico and say, like, what does Nico get whenever we have awakened skill, right? Uh, Nico is getting. Uh, 80% defense break chance and additional 200 damage factor. We are not speaking about damage factor at all. Most important here is like defense break and there is not much thing, not much skills in the game uh, which are giving heroes or like legions a defense break buff. So this is a very important uh, debuff for the enemy, for especially for the marksman, and especially for the Nico and Kinara hero pair. So we understand why this uh, uh, awakening skill is so important. Uh, simply because Nico's most important and favorite hero pair is Kinara and Kinara loves defense break even she has defense break in her own uh, kit. That's why I think uh, even Kinara and Nico. Uh, for the awakening skill is very important. Personally, me as a free-to-play player, I'm trying my best to get my uh, Kinara awakened uh, to get defense break 20% uh, chance here and 80% uh, chance here. So let's get back to the uh, our section. Uh, I would simply put Kinara here. Uh, both of them can be uh, Good uh, with 5111 uh, section uh, simply because uh, Kinara uh, Nico's one skill is engineering skill, the second skill, and it's not that important for us to upgrade this to the engineering skill simply because we are getting zero benefits in the battlefield. Uh, other than that, Kinara's every skill is usable in the battlefield, so I highly recommend uh, Kinara to be upgraded uh, on the awakening skill, and we can always put Nico even here uh, simply because of the engineering skill is too risky for a free-to-play player to get uh, 5 5 5 5 uh, when the legendary tokens is almost impossible to get. Uh, another hero which is amazing in my opinion as an awakening hero is uh, Madeline. Uh, one of the most important skills of the Madeline is a second skill which is which she is getting Legion capacity bonus uh, for the whole time, uh, which means you're gonna have more Legion, uh, more troops inside your Legion, which is amazing uh, for, in my opinion. And uh, for example, I could like simply put uh, Evelyn, even Madeline, even here, uh, because five first skill is always important, and for Madeline's second skill for Legion capacity is too important, and you can play around with five five one one with Madeline. Two. I guess this photograph is really bad, uh, half of the Madeline is seen, but I think you can understand that here is Madeline. 
Another great um, hero to awaken, in my opinion, is uh, Welin, simply because every skill of the Welin is usable in the battlefield, like magic uh, reduction, uh, skill damage uh, increase, uh, shields, which kind of mean like every skill in the uh, Welin's kit is good to upgrade on the next level. There is no peacekeeping uh, skill, for example. Or something like that. Uh, like every whenever on hero, every skill is usable. I would always suggest you guys to upgrade the hero. So we have uh, first three uh, awakening heroes, which I suggest, like Inara, Madeline, and Velin. Every like every each of these heroes skills uh, has. Uh, like skills are usable in the battlefield. That's why, in my opinion, there is like main reason why these heroes are on the first place. Uh, another like 5111 hero, infantry hero is Garwood and in my opinion Garwood is here simply because Garwood's second skill is Garrison skill and it's not always a good, great idea to upgrade Garrison skills on the heroes. Uh, that's why first skill is always important and simply because the second skill is Garrison. Uh, 5111 for Garwood is simply okay. Uh, I would not suggest like to try hard on Garwood uh, because you might uh, get many skill points on the second skill and the second skill is kind of useless. Another uh, perfect uh, hero to awaken, I think Lilia is like in every stages of the game one of the best heroes uh, in the whole game. That's why we need to put Lilia uh, for the awakening heroes. Uh, I think another good uh, like 5-1-1-1 hero is Nika, simply because second skill of the Nika uh, is peacekeeping skill, and peacekeeping skill for legendary heroes is not a great idea to focus on. That's why uh, Nika primary is always a secondary hero because of this peacekeeping uh, skill. So like that's why like every single heroes which are five one 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 it means that to at least one of their skills are either peacekeeping or garrison or something which is not usable uh, in the battlefield. Uh, another great hero. Uh, in my opinion, that which has a peacekeeping but has an amazing skill talent uh, is Bakshi. Bakshi can be amazing 5111. Uh, like, yeah, you can always upgrade the Bakshi as a uh, awakening skill, but because of the peacekeeping which Bakshi has, uh, it's like not a great idea uh, to. Uh, try to awaken Bakshi in general, uh, like a second skill of the Bakshi is uh, peacekeeping damage deal and that's why uh, every hero which is on this 5-1-1-1 tier has at least one skill which is not usable in the battlefield, that's why they are here. Uh, so let's continue uh, which heroes are amazing to awaken. Uh, in my opinion, Thea can be put everywhere, for example, here, uh, Thea can be put here, and if I have Thea, another Thea's icon, I will put Thea as a 51112. Simply because every skill Thea has is good skill to uh, level up, every th skill Thea has is good skill in the battlefield or any stages in the game. So if you want to uh, awaken Thea, feel free to awaken. If you want to keep Thea as a 5511, feel free to do it. If you want to Thea to have a 5551, good to go, and you in 5111, Thea is amazing hero in general, like one of the most versatile heroes in the whole game. Um, and that's why I think Thea can be stood up in everywhere, and also simply because Thea has many different um, heroes which she can play around with. Uh, let's speak another, like regarding another cavalry unit, Emrys. Uh, I, I think in order for Emrys to be good, uh, he needs to awaken every single skill, uh, simply because every skill is important in general skills. Uh, for cavalry heroes are very important. They need like all al like almost every uh, heroes to uh, to be awakened, and even then they are not so useful in the battlefield. That's why I will put um, Emrys uh, on the five 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 category simply because Emrys needs uh, every skills to be uh, important in the battlefield. Of course, I can put Welin into the five 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 one simply because Welin two has great great. Uh, 
uh, skills and of course Kinara because Kinara's fourth skill is uh, like one of the weakest skills she has like counter attack damage uh, while slowing enemies, not an amazing skill. That's why if you have Kinara five 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 one, you can always uh, keep it here, keep it her there, or you can always go and awaken the her whenever you want. What else we have left? We have left with Indies. Well, regarding Indies, um, I think um, uh, for her you can use her as the Gatherer. I would not speak much regarding her, simply because her second skill is Gathering skill. So let's put Indies here, because 5-5 five, five, uh, first skill is important. Let's upgrade the first skill. Second skill is a Gathering skill. So it will be great for us to upgrade the, the gathering skill of the Indies uh, in general. Regarding Fregar, Fregar is a cool hero. She can be played uh, as a 5-1-1-1. She can be played as an Awakening hero. But simply because we have already too much heroes on Awakening section, I would put Fregar on the 5-1-1-1 category. Uh, and uh, the another hero, which is uh, Sindrion. Well, Sindrion has a... A rally uh, and stronghold skill, which is her his second skill. Let's put like um, uh, Fregar here and Sindrion. I think simply because uh, Sindrion has like second skill for the garrison, and the garrison skill is not usable in the battlefield. Let's put Sindrion into five one 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 section. So we have every hero in five one 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 section, which has at least one skill. Uh, which is not uh, good for the battlefield. One hero which is left uh, here is uh, Bakshi, and in my opinion, Bakshi is amazing in any stages. Uh, so that's why I will put Bakshi in the 5555 section. I will put Bakshi even on the second tier. I will put Bakshi even on third tier. And if I had another icon of the Bakshi, I will put Bakshi in the 5111 section. Uh, not Bakshi, Hosk. I'm sorry, I mis, uh, misspelled Hosk. So, the most uh, popular hero which you can use in many different occasions of the game are Fia and Hosk. Uh, if we believe in, in my uh, tier list, uh, it, like in Marksman section, I think Kinara is one of the most usable heroes in a Marksman section. Mages has Welin and Lilia, both of them are very usable. Uh, Madeline is very usable in Infantry section. And Hosk, uh, same as Thea, are pretty much uh, same in every category. So guys, uh, like 5111 heroes are heroes who has like at least... Uh, Peacekeeping or Stronghold on Garrison skills in their skill set. Other than that, you should choose your favorite hero which you would like to play with and continue play with that. In in terms of like uh, which hero is good here, which hero is bad, if we are not talking about which hero is best and which hero is worse, we are simply speaking about skills of the heroes. And this is how I built this small uh, tier list, which I think will help you guys in the future. The heroes with the peacekeeping damage, with peacekeeping skills, is not necessary to be awakened, uh, especially if you are a free-to-play player. I am personally a 100% free-to-play player, that's why I am really cautious with what kind of heroes I need to invest my legendary tokens. Currently, the whole amount of my legendary tokens are going with Kinara, because I want to awaken Kinara. But for, for now, right now, I have Kinaro 5551, and I, I feel great. Uh, if I, when I, whenever, I, whenever I hit Kinara 5511, I was, I was feeling also great, and even 5111 is also great. So, it all depends on your playstyle, which heroes you want to awaken, but in my opinion, these are the best heroes to awaken in general in the game currently. Uh, this is all I wanted to speak with you guys. Um, I hope you liked the video. I will continue doing what I have been done uh, in these past seven months. Uh, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. If not, that's your job, that's your view. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.